Hi everyone and welcome. I'm so excited to be here with you today to share a special story and special experience with you. I'm Antoine Hawkins and I'm with Charlotte Mecklenburg Library. Every year, the library celebrates Community Read, where we encourage our community to read books, share perspectives, and attend programs, and also build a stronger community together. I want to welcome you to Seversville Park, where we're hosting a special story walk this year to celebrate Community Read. What is a story walk? It's a fun and engaging way to enjoy stories outdoors while also enjoying nature and local parks. You can walk the trail and see each page of the book as you move your body. We have five story walks across Mecklenburg County and you can learn more about them on our website. Today's story is one of our community read titles for children and it's called Thank You Omu. It's written and illustrated by O.G. Mora. Here is the author's note included with the story to give you an idea of what it's about and how food and community were intertwined with love and family as O.G. was growing up. She shares, in Igbo, the Nigerian language of my parents, Omu means queen. Yet for me growing up, it meant grandma. When my grandmother cooked, she danced and swayed her hips to the radio as she stirred what was often a large pot of stew. In the evening, my family would come together at the dinner table for her meal. If a neighbor was visiting, they were invited. If a friend had stopped by, they were invited. Everyone in the community had a seat at my grandmother's table. This book is a celebration of her loving, giving spirit. Now this reminds me of my grandmother. She was the best cook for miles around and always had food and love to share. I remember the house always filled with aromas of freshly cooked food and freshly baked desserts for anyone who visited our home. Now, as we read today's story, you'll get to see how a story walk works. Experience Seversville Park and also follow along. I'll ask some questions about the story as well. I can't wait to share this book with you. Now let's get started. On the corner of First Street and Long Street, on the very top floor, Omu was cooking a thick red stew in a big fat pot for a nice evening meal. She seasoned and stirred it and took a small taste. What a delicious stew, Omu said. Tonight's dinner will surely be the best I have ever had. Now what do you think goes into a thick red stew? Meat? Vegetables? Now what makes it red? Maybe tomatoes or maybe spices. But now think about the best dinner you've ever had. What did you eat? Who cooked it? Was it at home or was it at a restaurant? And with that, Omu put down her spoon and went to read a book before supper. As the thick red stew simmered on the stove, its scrumptious scent wafted out of the window and out the door down the hall, toward the street, and around the block, until, knock, someone was at the door. When Omu opened it, she saw, well, what do you think she saw? Let's find out who was at the door. Omu saw a little boy. Little boy, Omu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? Well, I was playing with my race car down the hall when I smelled the most delicious smell, the little boy replied. What is it? Hmm, thick red stew. Mmm, stew, he sighed. That sure sounds yummy. Now, what kinds of foods sound yummy to you? What's your favorite food? Now, one of my favorite foods is tacos. Omu thought for a moment. She was saving her stew for dinner, but she had made quite a bit. It wouldn't hurt to share. Mm, would you like some, she asked. Now the little boy nodded, and so Omu spooned some of the thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Omu, the little boy said, and went on his way. Think about a time when you shared something with someone else. Now, how did that make you feel? Sharing recipes and food with those you care about is such a great way to connect with others in your family and in your community. With that, Omu closed the door and went back to her book. As she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, 
toward the street and around the block until, knock knock, someone was at the door again. When Omu opened the door, this time she saw, well, who do you think it is? You might be surprised. A police officer. Miss police officer, Omu exclaimed. Uh, what brings you to my home? Well, I was on duty down the street when I smelled the most delicious smell, Miss Police Officer replied. Well, what is it? Thick red stew. Ah, stew, she said, and her mouth watered. That sounds tasty. Well, now, what do you think Omu is going to do? Do you think she has enough stew to share with the police officer? What would you share with your police officer? Stew, or maybe your favorite meal? Omu thought for a moment. There was still enough stew to share. Would you like some? She asked. Well, the police officer nodded. Once again, Omu spooned out some thick red stew from her big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Omu, the police officer said and went on her way. Now, do you have a favorite stew or soup that you like to eat? Well, what is it? One of my favorites is warm clam chowder on a cold day and I love to eat it with crisp oyster crackers. And so for the second time, Omu closed the door and went back to her book. Sure enough, as she read her book, her thick red stew's scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out of the door, down the hall toward the street and around the block until, knock, 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 again, someone was at Omu's door. Now this time, when she opened up the door, she saw, well, let's find out who the third visitor is. A hot dog vendor. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor, Omu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? Well, I was selling a hot dog down the block when I smelled the most delicious smell. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor replied, well, what is it? Thick red stew. Oh, stew. The vendor licked his lips. This sounds quite delectable. Now, scrumptious means delicious. So does delectable. What are some other words that mean delicious? Mouthwatering, tasty, flavorful, yummy. Can you think of others? So Omu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot from her nice evening meal. Thank you, Omu, the hot dog vendor said, and went on his way. Throughout the day, people from all across the neighborhood knocked on Omu's door. She fed a shop owner, a cab driver, a doctor, an actor, an attorney, a dancer, a baker, an artist, a singer, an athlete, a bus driver, a construction worker, even the mayor stopped by. And each time they knocked, Omu shared. Now there's a lot of people who stop by Omu's. They have lots of different professions. Now profession is another word for job. Now what do you want to be when you grow up? Would you want to be a mayor? Now a mayor is the person in charge of an entire city. Now Charlotte's current mayor is Vi Lyles. Now that's a big job. Soon the sky darkened, the street lights brightened, and it was finally time for dinner. But when Omu opened her big fat pot of thick red stew for her nice evening meal, well, what do you think happened, friends? It was empty. Well, how do you think Omu felt? Let's find out. Look at Omu in this illustration, friends. I think you are all right. She looks sad. Sad and probably hungry, right? Well, Omu sniffled. There goes the best dinner I ever had, or maybe the best dinner she never had. Sorry in blue, she sat at the table with her empty pot until knock, 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 knock. Who could that be? Omu wondered. Now, when she opened the door, she saw, well, who do you think she saw? The little boy, the police officer, the hot dog vendor, well, the shop owner, the cab driver, the actor, the doctor, the lawyer, the dancer, the baker, why everyone she fed today was at her door. 
I'm sorry everyone almost sighed. My thick red stew is all gone. I have nothing left to share. Well, the little boy tugged on Omu's sleeve. Don't worry, Omu. We are not here to ask. We are here to give. Well, what do you think everyone is going to give Omu? The police officer carried in a fresh salad. The mayor entered with a roast chicken. The baker brought a collection of sweet goodies, and even the little boy presented Omu with something special in a shiny red envelope. Well, everyone who had knocked on Omu's door that day squeezed inside her tiny apartment, and together they ate and danced and celebrated, while Omu's big fat pot of thick red stew was empty. Her heart was full of happiness and love. Now, do you ever have potlucks with your family or friends? Potluck meals are where everyone brings some food to share with everyone else. Now, what food would you bring to share with Omu? The dinner was the best she ever had. Now, what do you think made it the best dinner for Omu? Was it all the new foods that she got to try? Or maybe it was the people she got to share it with. Now, whatever made it the best dinner for Omu, everyone in the neighborhood was happy to share with one another, enjoy each other's company, and thank Omu. This is the end of our Community Read story, Thank You Omu by O.G. Mora. Thank you so much for enjoying it with me at Charlotte Mecklenburg Library's Story Walk at Seversville Park. I hope you'll join us all month long as we celebrate the different ways food can connect us with our families and our community. I hope you can visit this Story Walk or any of our others this month. All five will feature stories related to Community Read. And of course, we'd love to see you at the library for our special story times programs, and author visits for all ages. Now check out all of our programs on our online calendar and learn more about Community Read on our Community Read website. I can't wait to celebrate with you.